Hi. Hi. So it's it's no surprise that the Democrat Party has gone further left. That's where the fun is. All well, that these ideas, pornographic or not, mm -hmm. are popular with people. And, and, shows. and under socialism, taxes will be lower, and everybody will have free stuff. They no. believe no, this. No, it's, it's that, right. that some of these ideas believe that yes. Poor people should have health care, by and large. That's they believe that's the polling shows. But then it breaks down when you say, OK, but here's what it costs. Is it still popular with you? And that's when people say, no, not really. It's easy for all these people to say, here's this neat stuff. But Amy Klobuchar and Dick Durbin and a few other people are going to look like adults going, yeah, no, we can't afford all of this, but nice try. Kevin Newsom, I'm surprised he hasn't gotten into the presidential fray more. And maybe he's waiting till 2024, and he's banking that President Trump will be reelected, which will be a great foil for him. Uh, the cost overruns on this project have always been prohibitive, and they've, they've always underestimated and undersold to- Day after 16 governors file a lawsuit against no, the it's, Trump it's administration. No, it's not a day after. Gavin Newsom abandoned the project last week. I know, but- The, the, the timing is, is not so- The timing's still separate. interesting. The timing is still it, interesting. It, it's yeah. not interesting. And no, the government spends way too much money on Tr everything. Trump just talked about the politics of You know what? Politicians, revenge. especially the ones in California, have always had train boners. And they're, they're railways to nowhere. It's an interesting a, They are path carts to hell because they're not going to move anyone. More failures like this- to keep proving over and over again, guess what, the state of California, they can't afford it, Emily. I agree, and you know, I, as a Californian, and I'm from the Bay Area, so I lived in San Francisco when Newsom was mayor, and at that point, he was called the Philosopher King. Mm -hmm. And to me, this is just another idea of his that I bet fails he gave himself on its that face. Name. I'm sure he did, and yeah. he loved it. But on it, it fails on its face, and it would fail in any execution for the reasons that you just said. Kim, who builds himself as such a pure environmentalist, it would behoove him to focus on more micro issues that affect the constituents, like along the southern border where it's fun. So I think he needs to divert his attention to more serious and impactful issues. Or go ahead and people. give the money back to the people who earned it, uh, the hardworking taxpayers in places like California and everywhere. You know, covered that, right? a lot there. We, we did. You. We really did. We, did. we covered more than a high speed rail ever could. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And uh, the wanger. Great job. Thanks, John Hall. You have for the first time on the panel. <laughs> but certainly not the last. Coming up, an Alabama woman who joined ISIS. Away, right away. Um, you're a debt holder, so you want to get repaid. That Venezuela, Venezuela can get back on its feet so it can pay its bills. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's simple. So I, I, I think you're someone who's really important to talk to on all this. How, how do you think it plays out? Starting right next door in Colombia, you had the FARC and the LN who give amnesty to a broad swath of the population that might have been involved in some bad things. Going to require some very high level diplomacy for sure. Absolutely. Hans Humes, thank you so much. Thank you, Trish. All right, coming up, everyone, former FBI acting director Andrew McCabe says it is possible that President Trump is a Russian asset.